Hello everyone, buenos dias, buenas tardes, y buenas noches, bon dia, boa tarde, y boa noite. So, this is my part two on Trump's big, bad, scary ban. Well, we are here to talk about who the ban does not apply to. So in my last video from yesterday, I actually talked about who the ban actually applies to. And in this video, we're actually going to talk about who escaped the clause of President Trump and who is not going to um, have this ban actually apply to them in their immigration process. My name is attorney Mario Ribeiro and I help professionals and entrepreneurs get their green card. And if you stick with me, I'll let you know if this ban does not apply to you. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so what's happening here is, you know, Trump and all of his mightiness has kind of been under a lot of pressure to actually do something with his response time to COVID. So um, in one sense, I do kind of feel for him because he's feeling a lot of pressure from his political party, um, but that has nothing to do with you. Um, so what is this ban? So Trump signed, um, first he fired off a tweet, everybody kind of went off their rockers and we were like, oh my goodness, what does this man even mean? Um, and then um, a few days after, we actually saw that he actually did sign this executive order into law. So what is the executive order? It is a temporary ban on certain people immigrating into the United States. Um, so what is he doing is he's essentially putting a pause on the immigration for the next 60 days, essentially until June 23rd, 2020. And there is a huge chance that the ban actually does not apply to you. So that's what this video is all about. But before we get into it, if you are not already subscribed, make sure that you click right now to make sure that you are staying up to date on what's happening with these crazy times and so that you can keep getting valuable information like this one. So who does the ban not apply to? So first of all, if you are inside of the United States, this ban does not apply to you. You are safe, my friend. You are safe. So only applies to people who are outside the United States. Who else does it not apply to? U.S. citizens, so if you have your citizenship from the United States, you're safe. If you are a lawful permanent resident, you are safe. If you have your green card, you are safe. This ban does not apply to. Those are actually really, really good news because a lot of my clients who have their green cards, a lot of my clients who are in their process of getting their citizenship or their permanent residency were freaking out. They were, I mean, right and rightfully so, but they were really, really concerned about, oh my gosh, I'm here, I'm in the middle of this process. How is this going to impact um, either me applying for naturalization or me applying for my green card. The good news is that it doesn't. Okay, who else does it not apply to? So in another video, I actually shared with you guys that um, USCIS immigration was actually sent out a formal policy, a formal notice where they were actually inviting people in the healthcare field to ask for an interview, an emergency interview, so that they could get their visa into the United States if what they do helps with the impact of COVID. So if they have anything to do with research, if they are nurses, if they are healthcare professionals, doctors, um, scientists, anyone that is helping to minimize the effects of COVID, then they are actually being encouraged to skip the line and go ask for an interview, an emergency interview at their consulate so that they can come into the United States um, and help the United States with the effects of COVID. So those people um, are, are safe from the ban. It does not apply to them. Okay, who does the ban also not apply to? If you are an investor and you are in the EB-5 process, you're safe. Let me tell you that I was not surprised to see this because money makes the world go round. And if anybody understands any language, it is the language of money. And that is very true to Trump because, you know, there's been economic talks of a downward spiral, you know, economic downturn. We've been hearing, you know, how many people have been getting laid off, unfortunately. So now is when we are actually making sure that those EB-5 investors who are investing 
upwards of $900,000. Okay, it's not lunch money. They are investing a lot of money into this country. Literally, they are literally investing into this country $900,000 in order to get a green card. You guys are safe. So who does this ban not apply to? It is also to spouses of United States citizens. So if you have, if you are an immigrant and you married a US citizen, you guys don't have to worry about it. Or we actually saw that non-immigrant visas are also not effective. So if you are um, looking for a tourist visa, you're safe. If you're an E2 investor, you're safe. If you're student visa, if you are an H1B, if you are a TN, all of these visas that are temporary, meaning non-immigrant, they do not, they have nothing to do with this ban. This ban is only for immigrant immigrant visas trying to use that visa in order to enter the United States. So if you are in those temporary categories, you are safe from the claws of President Trump. Thank goodness. Also, we have um, people that are excluded from this are people who are helping with an ongoing investigation and they are doing it in exchange for a visa. So if they are in a visa process where they are also helping with um, solving a crime, if they have been a victim of domestic violence, those types of people are also safe from the uh, claws of President Trump and it does not apply to them. Lastly, those that are entering into the United States because it is in the national interest. So this is one of my favorite type of visas is the EB2 National Interest Waiver, EB2 NIW, where you don't have to actually go through the labor certification. You don't actually have to get a US employer to sponsor you because what you do is so important that the United States should waive that requirement and get rid of the application process and get rid of the requirement that you have to be sponsored by a US employer in order to have what you do here in the United States because it is in the national interest of the United States. So essentially that is obviously going to be with the healthcare workers, people that are helping stimulate the economy in this really tough time, people that are helping um, you know, with job conditions, those things that are helping the United States either get better or minimize effects of COVID and how is it that they can actually improve things that are in the United States already because what they do is so innately important that the entire nation is going to get benefits from having this one individual and their family come to the United States, you guys are safe as well. So let me know what you think about these, who is not included in the ban. Um, I will tell you this, my personal opinion is that, you know, there was a lot of hoopla, obviously. There was a lot of, you know, doom and gloom about what this ban was actually going to entail. And you will actually see that there's a lot of um, immigrants who thankfully, thankfully are not going to be um, having to uh, go through this ban. They're not really going to see an effect on this ban. I will tell you this though, it's only for 60 days. There could be some changes at the end of the 60 days, you know, because this is only a temporary ban. Um, but that isn't to say necessarily that after the 60 days are over, that ban is going to be a little tighter or looser. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.